In the news today, four prisoners have reportedly escaped from the Mazaruni prison. A high-level police team is currently en route to the location. A Spanish-speaking security guard at the Georgetown Public Hospital refused to wear a face mask, despite interventions by doctors and other security personnel and staff of the hospital. She eventually wore a mask but refused to leave her post. Eventually, she became very hostile and was restrained. Today when I was passing City Hall in Georgetown I took this photo, what do you guys think of the condition of the City Hall building, let me know in the comment section. Father of two killed in head on collision. A father of two young children, a four-year-old girl and a two-month-old baby boy was killed after he collided head-on with a motorcycle at Plum Park, so fire, Georgetown, on Monday night. Leroy Hercules, 28, of Durban Street, Georgetown and Itoon Ni, Region 10, was a serving member of the Guyana Defense Force for the past nine years. Roaming car bandits pounce on ECD residents. Over the weekend, Roaming car bandits have pounced upon two East Coast Demerara residents in the confines of their homes, robbing them of cash and other valuables. The first, who fell victim to the bandits was Shireen Khan, of Robert Street, ECD. Khan was robbed around 1.05 p.m. on Wednesday, February 10. Khan told police that she was sitting in her hammock on the veranda of her two-story wooden and concrete home enjoying the afternoon breeze, when a Toyota 212 motor car pulled up in front of her house. She recounted to police that a masked man, armed with a knife, exited the car and entered her yard, and then into her house ordering her to go inside. She reportedly refused, but the bandit proceeded to drag her into her bedroom and started to ransack it in her presence. He found gold rings worth some $70,000 and pocketed them. The bandit proceeded to relieve her of her cellular phone and then reportedly dragged her again, but this time towards the kitchen. There he tied her up with a rope shoved a piece of cloth down her mouth and locked her in the toilet before making his escape. A short while after, Khan told police, she managed to free herself and alerted her neighbors about what had transpired. On Saturday, another victim, Lennox Adams, popularly known as Poe, of Sperendom, ECD, also fell prey to the roaming car bandits. Adams told police that he was sitting in his grocery and beverage shop situated in the lower flat of his two-story home in the early evening hours, when a white Toyota Allian pulled up. Two gunmen exited he recalled, and ran up to him demanding money. He offered them $300 cash, which he had in his hand at the time. One of the bandits, he told police grabbed the money and forcefully entered behind the counter. The bandit headed straight to the money drawer and took out all the cash it contained. He and his accomplice then escaped in the waiting car, but before doing so, they discharged a couple rounds towards his shop. The police officers stationed at the East Coast Demerara Police Stations, are currently searching for the roaming car bandits.